So far, we've opened a couple mystery boxes, the Bam box, the Loot Anime box, the Bus and Snacks box, and today we got another one here. We have Tokyo Treat. This one is another one that I randomly just found online, and we're going to open it up and see what's inside. This, I think, is more similar to the Bus and Snacks box. It's not really collectibles. I think it's more snacks. That's why it's Tokyo Treat. So let's just get into it and see what's inside. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and comment down below what mystery box should I open up next. And if you like my shirt, go check out Anna Das Fun on Instagram if you like having fun. So just looking from the outside, this box is way bigger than the other ones, and it feels like it's actually filled with stuff. This might be the best one yet. <laughs> Biden to Japan, Tokyo Treat. All right, so we got Japan's Best Bites, a little booklet here. This is it's pretty cool. So we have a whole bunch of snacks listed out. I guess some of these might be in here, but don't want to spoil it too much for myself. So put that to the side. And right away, you can see it is jam packed. I, I might have to get another one of these. We've got the mini Kit Kat melon flavored. Ooh, I've tried a couple different Kit Kat flavors from Japan, but not this one. We'll see how that tastes. Smells really sweet. Tastes pretty sweet too. Actually doesn't taste anything like the fruit taste, I think. Yeah, it has more of a like a sweet richness to it. Yeah, I'm so used to melon being so watery that you don't really get too much of that sweetness in this like concentrated form, but it's actually pretty good. All right, next up we got some potato chips with looks like seaweed or nori on it. Yeah. I wonder how that's going to be. I've had just um, nori by itself and not really something I really care for. So this is pretty interesting. I don't know why, but the first time I picked this up, I, I didn't realize how huge this bag is. It's like, why is it so big? And just like all chips, half the bag is just air. You can literally fit your whole hand in there before you even touch a chip. The nori makes it taste a little bit more salty. It's like that would go good with some ramen. And here you can see like there's just a big assortment of things. Like we got what looks like ramen here. We got a soda. I didn't even know we got a soda in here. We got some candy. We got some Pocky. Let's let's pull out the Pocky. These are pretty cool. Pocky blueberry flavored. Not sure if I'll like this one because I'm not a big fan of blueberries. But the packaging always looks beautiful. This one... I'm looking forward to. And as soon as you open it, it's like a huge blueberry smell. But in a good way, like a strawberry kind of flavor on the inside. It's hard to notice it, but at the end of the like the stick, not the sweet part, they're trying to do a heart shape. So let's reach back here behind the ramen because i think i saw the word candy we have a japanese like ring pop diamond ring candy very generic sounding um what's that oh you checking out my bling yeah you know i just got it you know oh that that tastes nasty so this one is soda flavored and not really tasting all that good tastes like pepsi Maybe, yeah, maybe like Pepsi, but turn into a candy. It looks like some kind of vegetarian ramen. All right, so on the inside, we have our little little veggie pack. We have our seasoning. And we have some thicker noodles. Ooh, we got a little Pokemon item in here. We got a little bonus item, but it's cool to get a little biscuit. And already, it's already like broken up so much. I don't want to get crumbs everywhere, but oh, it's like almost like a wafer. Yeah. So there's like chocolate sandwiched in between in like a wavy kind of pattern. It's really chocolatey. Like I said before, I don't really like chocolate that much. Yeah, we have like a little card inside. Tyranitar number 16. This is like never ending. This box was filled. They just have like this fluffy golden texture. I really wonder what these could be. So let me know, what is your favorite snack? Like, what do you guys usually like to get that's not from your country? Just curry flavored, like, chips. Like these little, I don't know what the shape of it is. It's like, 
like a chef's hat almost. All right, next up we have corn pottage. What? That's pretty interesting to try. Just smells like corn chips. Like cheese puffs. Not bad, actually. And this is just going on and on. Now we have some little crackers. Little 100th anniversary crackers here. Like those little Ritz crackers you get, I guess, with the... The ones that have like the peanut butter, if you know what I'm talking about, it looks pretty similar to that. Oh, these are really dry. It tastes like they would go good with like maybe some hot chocolate. Ooh, this one looks like some more candy, something sour. You could just see their faces on the package. That has got to be sour. And these also look like little jelly beans on the inside. Let's try it. Uh, it's definitely hard. It's like a jawbreaker. So that one was pretty sweet. But now that I'm looking at the package and I think. I think there's a random sour one in there and. They're all they all look the same, but one of them is randomly sour. So I'm just going to try another one and see that one was also sweet. So I'm not sure. And I'm just building up a pile on the side here. But now we have what strawberry candy. These look like jelly beans, kind of. Yeah, I just, just squished one so you could kind of see inside of it. It's actually pretty, pretty soft. Like they dissolve as soon as you put them in your mouth. It feels kind of like, like how white chocolate would be. Like there's not a strong taste to it. Yeah, there's definitely like a strawberry, maybe white chocolate coating on the outside. But on the inside, there's like a small wafer. These are... Okay, but the flavor on the outside isn't really strong. Now we have bubble, grape bubble candy. Oh gosh, more grape. Everybody knows how grape is my favorite flavor. The packaging on this is just a bit weird. It's a bit reminiscent of something else, if you catch my drift. On the inside, it's a purple tablet. Oh, it's like Pop Rocks. It's making like bubbles in my mouth. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Not too much grape flavor, which is definitely a plus, but it's sort of like Pop Rocks, except instead of popping in your mouth, it more bubbles, which is similar feeling, but it's hard to explain. Like, you guys got to try this one. Next up, we got, look at the faces on these fish. Of course, there's grape in there. So I just looked this one up. This one is called Marukawa Unique Taste Gyo Gyo Gum. It's four gum sticks that come in green apple, grape, yogurt, and peach flavors. So they want you to have fun chewing two or three gums at the same time. So you can try different flavor mixes. And on the back of the packaging has a chart that tells you the different mixes of flavors. Since when does candy come with instructions? I don't really care too much for the mixes. I just want to see what these taste like by themselves. Gum definitely loses its, fa its flavor quick. Favor. And also comes indented, like cut into three pieces almost. The flavor stays good, but doesn't last long. Yeah, the gum isn't elastic enough to blow any bubbles or anything. So, so let's see, what soda did we get? So this is, I'm guessing, orange or tangerine flavored. At least it's not grape or lime. And I don't think it's soda. I don't want to get splashed like the last time. Yeah, I think it's just a drink. But it has like um, tangerine or orange pieces in it. I I hope I hope that's what it is. The taste is like a relative of an orange. Definitely not like an American orange or any American orange juice, natural or, you know, store-bought. And we're winding down now to the end of the snacks. We got like these jello apple cubes. This looks actually really good. There's like a sweet part at the top that's like the brownish area and then maybe like a creamy part at the bottom it looks like. And as soon as you open it, just like the blueberry, like you get that apple scent right away. Let's see what it tastes like. 
Oh, these are really good. They're so soft and like squishy. I think I would buy these again. This is really good. And last but not least, thanks for snacking with us. Last, we got some, ooh, we got like a little marshmallow and chocolate snack. All this is missing right now is probably a graham cracker and then this would have been a s'more. All right, let's try one. Now chocolate is pretty rich. It's like closer to dark chocolate. Yeah, on the inside is in fact a marshmallow. Though since the chocolate is on there, it's overpowering the barely, it's, it's almost barely any taste for a marshmallow in the first place. This is definitely a cool idea. I could see somebody eating this like in one sitting, but the marshmallows were a little bit too small. So I didn't get as much of the chewiness. It was just like chocolate overload, which some people may like, but I'm not really a big fan of chocolate too much. As you can see, it was surprising to find a box that was actually filled to the brim with different kinds of snacks. So if you like that video and you like me opening all these snacks and you like these mystery boxes, there's more coming in the future. So subscribe to the channel.